Hi guys and welcome to our new video. We are continuing to cover all our documentation videos and today topic will be our table creation wizard overview where you can see how you can create table, tables and use each of the options that we have in our plugin. Alexander will help you out as always so let's dive in. Okay guys so under create a table you get to choose from six available options creating a simple table from scratch creating a table linked to an existing data source, creating a table manually, uh, creating a table by importing data from a data source, uh, create a table by generating a query to the WordPress database and generating a query to the MySQL database. Um, so first is the simple table wizard where you get to choose the number of columns and the number of rows. And when you click the generate table button, you get your blank table. Um, we have a separate video for this. Mm -hmm. So you guys can check it out, but the important thing is that with this table type you can merge cells, you can add star rating and stuff, but you cannot filter these tables and you, you cannot use them to create a chart. So back to the create a table menu. Uh, create a table linked to an existing data source. Uh, this can be used for Excel, CSV, Google Spreadsheets, XML, uh, JSON, uh, Serialized PHP array and SQL. So for this example, we're going to use an Excel file where you get to actually browse and upload the file from your computer. Uh, we will use test pi and use selected file, save changes. And here you can see the table that is linked to this file. So as you can see here in the link, the mm -hmm. file is actually copied to WP content uploads current year, current month, and here's the file. So if you want to change the data in this table, you need to change the data in this file on this location. What you cannot do is rearrange, remove, rename, or add new columns that will break the structure of the table. Mm -hmm. Similar to this, but very different, is create a data table by importing data from a data source. What this does, it allows you to select a file, we'll use the same file, and when you create the table, the plugin actually creates a new manual table in the database, and when you create it, you will actually be able to edit this table. So while you're editing the WP data table that you just created, you are not editing the file that the table has been created from. So in here, you can actually enable editing for this table, and modify each entry, but again, it will not modify the file that was used for creating a table. Okay, so when you create a table in the, with these options, basically it is the whole different table in the database. It's not related to that file. You just that's, use that file to just create a structure of, of, of that table. That's correct, yes, and import the data. So yeah. you've got two uh, tables. One is uh, the one you uploaded, which is an Excel file or a CSV or a Google spreadsheet, and this is a database table which was used only to gather data. Okay, okay, understood. Um, and uh, this next option is create a data table manually, which is basically you add or remove some columns, you add the type, type. choose if it's gonna be a string, an integer, a float, date, date time, uh, and so on, and Basically, just hit create a table, open in standard or Excel-like mm -hmm. editor, and from there you can actually start adding data to the table. Um, the important thing here is that you cannot make any structural changes before you add at least one row. So when you add one row, you can now change all this in the settings mm -hmm. and in column settings and so on. Um, the last two are actually linked to your database. This is a WordPress database, which is used to create tables from posts, taxonomies, post meta, and so on. So you actually choose all these available options, all these tables, and choose um, what properties you want from that. You can add conditions, you can add rules, but you need to watch out for these because we're using a third-party um, PHP SQL parser, which works good, but it's not an ultimate query generator. So the query that you see here 
can often be wrong, so you need to play around with it to get the data that you need. Also, when you create a table like this, most likely, because of all these inner joins and uh, complex, queries. complex queries, you won't be able to filter these uh, tables. For example, if you type root, you can see no matching records found, but you can see that it's actually there. So the, if you get the data you need, the solution here would be to simply copy this and uh, create, create a view, a view <laughs> yeah. in the database. That's and we correct. also have a video of how you can create a view. That's right. So the last um, wizard is actually pretty much the same, but you're not querying the WordPress database. You're actually querying all those tables that you have in your database. So you can actually choose an existing manual table. If I'm not mistaken, this is the table that we just imported. Mm -hmm the table that we've created actually so the table that we've imported would be this yeah this is the table that we've imported from the excel file which is in the database so when you click next you get the exact same table but you've queried your database to fetch the data yeah this, this can come in handy if you have uh, like one million entries that's right the mysql tables will work faster that's right, that's right. Okay, that that's, is that's pretty, pretty much, much it. it. Okay, thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in another video. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.